It's also valuable to have a conservative Republican member of Congress writing about something we can't see from the outside. What's going on among conservative Republicans behind closed doors while they're giving in to this anti-democratic plot? We learned, for example, on page 124 of Liz Cheney's new book that a senior Republican staffer on the Rules Committee wrote in the Republican staff memo on impeachment less than a week after the January 6th attack on Congress. This is the Republican staff memo. The person wrote that Trump had committed impeachable offenses calling what Trump did, quote, a serious act political in nature that corrupted or subverted the political process and threatened the order of political society. That's the Republican staff memo on impeachment after January 6th. Previously unreported. We learn on page 74 that the day before January 6th, Kevin McCarthy's general counsel, the top lawyer for the top Republican in the House, told Congressman Mike Johnson that the effort he was organizing to get House Republicans to sign on to Trump's effort to overthrow the election was an effort that was wildly unconstitutional in its basis. Quote, later that night, I heard from Kevin McCarthy's chief counsel, Michaela Carr. She told me she had made clear to Mike Johnson that his letter was wrong. She said that he knew it was. She said he pushed back very strongly. Excuse me. She said she pushed back very strongly when they discussed it that afternoon. And then Cheney quotes from an email. He knows he is wrong on the fundamental constitutional principle. And his argument that he has some sort of power to individually determine, absent due process of any sort, that a state didn't meet their constitutional obligation, and then that the remedy should be that, without any process whatsoever, the federal, cross, federal Congress gets to overturn the will of the people, is astonishing. Astonishing. That's the top lawyer serving the top Republican in the House. Telling him that what he's doing is unconstitutional as he's doing it. Mike Johnson, of course, is now no longer just an anonymous backbench member of Congress. He's now the leader. He's now the Republican Speaker of the House. Page 32 of her book, Liz Cheney describes communications with senior Republican staffers in the, uh, on Capitol Hill about the court filing that Mike Johnson, in fact, led as part of Trump's election challenge, concluding that he might personally have ethical issues as a lawyer, as in with his professional accreditation, for having made factual assertions to the court in that brief about things he didn't actually have factually inf factual information about. As you know, lots of Trump lawyers have faced professional punishment for lies they told on Trump's behalf after the election. Liz Cheney, in her new book, effectively asserts that the House Speaker, Mike Johnson, might be one of those lawyers.